Hey guys, today I want to talk about Notepad, a simple text editor for Microsoft. So, since it's a text editor, it should be have like one right. But is it? Let's uh, stick into this function called font size. It allows you to make your text bigger or smaller and see. Okay, first I have some symbol from word the reason i choose word as a uh, models because well words has already been approved by many users so i can't compare the result i get from word with the one i get from notepad to see the difference between these two the reason here is for symbol already defined and serialized as 5, 50, 100, and 500. 500 is so big. Where is it? Um, it's here. 500. The reason I choose this specific phone size because I want to test from small to medium and to large to see each to see behavior of each type. <coughs> and since I use integer values, so on the scale of one to ten can be considered small. Of course, we have even smaller number like negative number, but this is another case and we'll talk about it later okay let's put on some text here this is on side 5 and define this define it at 5 here I already put some 5 let's see the difference between these two well to me is not very much of it's not very much different it's kind of it still have some similarity between and this phone side 5 is roughly the same as phone side 5 in word let's try something more let's try for size 50 this is for size 50 50 yes as you can see there's an there isn't much difference between these two lines. It's just bigger because the application is <coughs> because the application window is kind of small. Okay, I can't take this as a pass, but let's see what if we input. What if we define it at full size 100? Is there any things different between it? Anything different? Oh, so there is some things funny about this compared to work. I think it's the difference in work. You can choose font size for specific line. It's look here is font size five. This is font size fifty. This is one hundred, and the rest, which you didn't define, stay as the default value of eleven. But here, when you choose a font size, it's applied for all of the text, for whole document. Look, this was it was our fifty font size, which is not that big. It's look 
and it's not that big. It's now the same size at font size 100. It's like one size fit it all. Not very smart. Let me just set it back to A so we can test some more. But despite that, the font size 100 should pass my expectation for hundred compare with work. Now let's try five hundred. So you can see there is a scroll bar down here. It allows you to move back and forth so you can see your home text. It's getting short, it's getting big. But some view you can see there's only it's like a medium rectangles here. It's only allowing you to see from this view. It's kind of limited, isn't it? Let's just see. It surely got bigger. I actually think these two font size are similar with its other. Are the same? Yeah. I actually think that font size for her voice is the same in notepads and word. But what if we define some things more than 500? What if we choose a larger value like a thousand? No, five thousand. Oh, so can you see? The scroll bar is still here, but my text already disappear. I think five thousand. When I choose five thousand, my text just getting so big to the point is that it disappear. You can see it anymore. But I only have like the horizontal scroll bar, but. I don't have the vertical one to move up and down to find where my text is. So uh, how, how am I gonna select it? Uh, let's see. Can I use shortcuts? Yeah. You can still you can select your text with shortcuts, but you can see what is it is. Yes, you can see. It's like it's like you know it's still there. But it's not there. It's like my Christmas parents. Okay, so is this behavior only affect? Is this behavior only affected for values that even or bigger than five thousand? Let's see. Uh, oh, I can't input anymore let's just put this yes still can see it still can see it still can see it anywhere um let's see for one more time let's see the strike uh no well shortcut here font uh, let's choose something in between that. So, um, I lost my scroll bar. I don't know why, but I lost my scroll bar and even my tights is a weird behavior I don't even know what happened and oh and my text is like 
it's only show from here. Then what this pay for? Let's see, five seventy-five thousand. Oh, now I get it back. I think. Well, I get my score bar back and my work. My work is there somewhere, perhaps. See, you can see it's much clearly that I still have my work, but I just can't see it. As it, I just can't see my work. But it's five thousand. It's seven thousand and five hundred. But the behavior of seventy. Five thousand. So it's only happened around five-digit number. How about here? Let's try some more. Fifty-nine. Eighty. So when you input like five-digit. Number there is like seventy five thousand or fifty thousand or whichever number, just five digit number, except for ninety nine thousand and nine hundred and ninety nine, except for that number. So you get this kind of result. You lost your scroll bar. You lost your text. It has only shown from this. I don't know if my test getting bigger or it's getting smaller. I think it's been cut in half. I think it's been cut in half. Well, more than half to be exact. Is weird. Since since I can input more than five digit, as you can see here, I can input more. So I think that uh, this value is like the boundary of it. Is a weird application. It's like it's it's a weird application. My text I would rather is cut in half like this. Uh, here is a thousand font size. My text already been cut in half. Well, yeah, I can only see the upper half of it. And the scroll bar to allow me to move around. When it's getting bigger and bigger, <coughs> the text disappear. Well, it's not something that the font size should do. Let's see if I choose like a hundred, a thousand here. What's my font size gonna be? Well, it's not disappear. As things, my text is not cut because it's a size of paper. It doesn't allow it to fully show my text, but it's still there. You can still see it. It's not like a notepad. It's like a magic. It's like a magic shelf notepad. Okay. Let's just put it back to eight so we can continue with our texting. So around a thousand the text will be cut in half and only shown you the upper half of it. 
with a scroll bar for you to see to, to for you to move back and forth but it doesn't prevent you the vertical bar and when you input like 5000 the text will this will be disappear we can see that we can think that like it's so big that it's disappear from your view point your point of view and when you input like five digit number as a symbol like seventy five thousand or fifty thousand the application the scroll bar now the scroll bar is disappear also with your text you know you can still see it there but you don't know where is it but you can select it with shortcut <coughs> and that's not what I expected in this application so we have tried the validation input now what if we input values like negative number, romance, numeric, or even a character? What was the behavior is like? Let's see. Uh, let's try with negative number first. Oh no, let's try with zero first. There's a size zero. It doesn't show the value here, but so is this like the default value? Is like so is is this the default value of this notepad? It's this full size, but this didn't show me the value to know what is it. Let's just try negative number minus three. Oh, so from zero size zero is acceptable and there is there's even sign minus three oh no side three so the application takes the absolute value of the negative number you input input it and yeah it get you the absolute value when you input minus three is three minus 6 is 6 yes probably 6 or 6, six. yeah the absolute value why like getting so smart all of a sudden okay how about romantic number me see if you can recognize that this size must be a number. <coughs> well, is this a number? It's just not look like one, but is it? It is one. Then how a character? Yes, that's what you should say to the user when the input character. You know, usually when you input something in the tag box, blank space will be trimmed off. Well, to some application, the behavior is like the blank space will be trimmed off in some text box. But let's see, what if we input blank space here in font size? does is trim off by notepad two one two okay let's see yes it's trim off my blank space and what if we input blank space in between the two digit and a blank space after that does is a number I guess it's too much work to trim off those blank space. So, 
the font size so this font size function acts more like a zoom function right you don't need to select the, the specific line for to define the font size you just define it and it fits almost everything almost every line is affect home document so it's I think it's act more like a zoom function than actually allowing you to resize your text so that's it for notepad today see ya